Yo, what's going on? This is Shang. This is Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Yo, make sure that you su subscribe to the uh, podcast version of the show. Breezy JJ, what's going on? What's going on? Everybody that jump on, tell your friends, friends, friends to jump on. Let's get our numbers up. Our numbers are good, but they ain't great. I need them to be great. Okay? Sometimes you got to strive for greatness. So I need y'all to help us get to greatness. What's up, little underscore Rob underscore LBC all day. All right, what's going on? Waiting for uh, Pedro to jump on. Wait a minute. There's Pedro right there. I waved at him with the little wave hand. So let's get it going. We're going to talk about some stuff. I'm, when he jumps on, I'll, I'll post it about the podcast. and Where you can check the podcast out. What's up, Tricky? Uh, what's going on? Um, wait for him to jump on. He, he's somewhere there. He always does some weird pop in, you know, it's kind of rapey. Uh, but it's cool. I mean, not that he had raped nobody, but he got a little bit rapey. A little bit rapey. Okay, cool. Savage AF. Um, salute. Uh, North Carolina all day. What's going on with it? There he is. I see. He's, yeah, I told you. He's somewhere in there. Rollo the leader. Who is the leader? Rollo's the leader. Huh? What's going on, man? Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. See? I see. Oh, okay, I see you with the, the, the shirt. Um, what, yeah, there he is, Rollo, the leader. What's up? Uh, what I, I'm going to pin this on here while Pedro lets you know where you can get the podcast and where oh, you shit. can get on we, YouTube. We got, we got a podcast? Oh, shit. I didn't even know. What up, Shane? Well, what if, up, if, man? If I was to guess that Savage AF had a podcast, I would guess that it's named Savage AF. And that you could probably find it wherever you get your podcasts. iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. <laughs> uh, you can also, if you, uh, and, and that's if you miss us live on IG, Monday through Friday. Uh, Mondays and Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so if you miss us live, you can obviously catch the podcast if you want to get it in your ears. But if you want to see all this glory and all this sun shining behind niggas and shit, they nigga got a halo and a motherfucking aura around me and shit. If you want to see it, you can actually catch up on YouTube. And uh, Shang's pinning that right now. But on YouTube, you want to look for Savage AF Podcast. And that's going right. to get you there. That's going to get you all the video clips you need to get you through your week. SRNC, we see you. What's up, babe? Singing Gina or singing Ina. <laughs> singing, 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 singing Gina. Nah, yeah, or what's singing Ina? What's, I don't know. Mr. Shonda. What's going on, Shonda? What's going Mr. on? Miranda, what's going on with you, Shonda? Follow the leader. I see you, bro. See you, uh, yeah, what's going music. on with y'all? See Oh, all. my God, man. The world is just getting, the, it's just a piece of craziness out there. Just crazy, Amen. crazy town. Um, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to speak in a crate. Before we get into the show, I'm going to do a little show and tell for y'all, right quick. And uh, even though, can, how can I turn my shit around? Oh, here we go. Hey, all right. So I don't, I don't have my shit yet. Like I don't have my uh, my rifle or my shotgun yet. But I did go ahead and get a get a, a bag for them. You know what I'm saying? It, it it goes in the backpack mode too. I can strap that on my right. back. And then you know, uh, let me just open it up real quick. Yeah, and uh, by the way, I don't want anybody to think that. Um, Pedro is gone, you know, full militia, but he's hey. getting there. He's a little bit, there. A, little a little bit, bit of militia. We're not, we're not, we not, we not bullshitting out here, man. We're like not. it's it's going down. Like uh -huh. if the shit go down, it's going down, and that's what's happening. So, so make sure that y'all uh, <laughs> be safe around Pedro. Yeah, you can you can uh, you can carry two with this. Uh, hold on, boom. So I don't know if you can see, but yeah, you can do one up top, one down there. Uh, yeah, so we about to be long gunning on y'all fools. I went ahead. You, you got to prepare too. Uh, right. So I, w I went ahead and uh, you know got got some extra mags and and ammo. That's that two two three <laughs> right there for you. And uh, yeah, I don't even have a gun for this yet, but we ready. <laughs> when if when it comes, it will. Okay. Be ready to well, go. and basically, um, what Pedro's saying is he's walking and stomping. Oh wait a minute, somebody was they uh. Uh yeah, C Mo eighty nine said walking stomping in my big black boots with them walking, thangs on them. Big black boots, yeah man. Uh, uh yeah, that's what's happening. Savage AF got even more savage. He's showing you some savage, and then right after that, little cute green things. 
Um, that's where I went. Right? <laughs> yeah, my little dinosaur. Uh, Red Stone Firearm, that's where I was today, and I uh, picked up some things, uh, some ammunition and magazines and stuff. And, uh, you know, there was just that conversation about, like, that, you know, they, he, he was telling everybody, like, just, just get – anytime you can get ammo, just, just get ammo, dog. Just get some fucking ammo. So uh, all of that is to say prepare yourselves, guys, for everything that is coming ahead of us. Speaking of what's coming ahead of us, we have a show to do, don't we? Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about some things. And we'll then later to tonight, we're going to be doing Comics Uncensored with, uh, you know, uh, what is uh, I don't want to – when we say it, Lisa Tanker, yeah, we're going to be yeah, on man. with Lisa Tanker. I'm going to do that. But somebody fell out and they asked me, I said, yeah, I'll fuck with it for a little yeah, you bit. Will. Yeah, I'll fuck with it a little bit. Then I'm just going to take uh, some edibles and then I'm going to zone the fuck out. Zen the, the fuck out. That's Laying the plan. The but no, um, I think that that's a good thing that you're getting everything prepped. You're getting ready because it is getting that crazy. The people that follow Trump are getting that crazy. And the racists are getting that fucking brave where they'll knock on your door and go, we're looking for a goddamn dude named Black Pedro. And we need to get him to get out here. We need to get that black ass and that fucking whatever. Uh, her, her, what's your last name? Her Bacanacan is? Whatever it is. We <laughs> We yeah, want you out here. And then all of a sudden it's like, God damn it. He got us. Get out of here, Bill. <laughs> shit, he's armed. He's, he, oh, shit. <laughs> we didn't see that coming. He's black and armed. Look at him. Black and yeah. armed. So yeah. Eve it, underscore. What's up, Eve underscore? Eve in the building. Uh, Eve's underscore Apple 7916. Now, what's up? That's the one that makes it happen. Give it. The, uh, give a hand for the queen. Yes. She's the queen to me. Yes, she is. Yes, all hail. Uh, and yeah. what up, Pandora's Box and Kane Garlene? We see y'all too. All right, now, so tell your friends to jump on here too, goddammit. So yeah, we sure we got people sure. on here, but we want the numbers to double. I'm not fucking around no more. So I need y'all to subscribe and, and, and goddammit, God, God damn it. <laughs> all right, I messed that one up. That wasn't that. God no, no, no. damn it. I feel you on that, bro. I feel you on that. Um, so double our numbers. We want our numbers to triple. We're at uh, 120. We want 120. What is it? Nine million? Is that what million. we want? Yeah, million. Yeah. Million, million. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Breezy JJs, we see you. Cynthia, 8450, we also see y'all. All right, so we're going to get y'all with the daily run-up because Savage AF is the kind of show that will run up on your ass. K-Job, I see you. What up, though? El New. Yo, all y'all get in the corner. Y'all late. Ha! Uh... Today, October 13th, 2020, we're going to end the show talking about natural law. That is uh, the new law in effect that uh, bans discrimination for us wearing our hair the way we wear our hair. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about something that makes no sense, this man. Uh, as the Supreme Court has uh, backed up Trumpy Dumpty and the administration in their attempt to end the uh, census count early. But before we get into that, uh, I'm going to ask, what's in the name? Uh, we're going to define a militia versus, you know, these cracker-ass terrorists or whatever, right? What's, what's the difference between, because we hear the word militia thrown around a lot. Let, let's talk about that. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to talk about... Yo, what's up, Terrence? Terrence Thatch in the building, representing oh, yeah, Atlanta. What's, what's going, going on? on? Hold on, I'm going to just give him this. One of the cleanest men in the business just sharp, yes, always dressed as sharp. So, I mean, I'm going ahead. I always got to shout him out. This is the first time I seen him on the thing, rocking out with us on Savage AF. Yes. Okay, so thank you, Terry. Illuminati. Illuminati, also welcome to the building. What's up, a Sula? Andrew standing up as well. I see you're a very funny man. Make sure you follow. Um, we're going to talk about uh, obstruction of justices, which is uh, Bitch McConnell, Senate Majority Leader, and all the things he did to leave these federal court seats open. Right. And, and Supreme Court seat open. Supreme um, Court, but which, uh, which basically he stole. So we'll, so that, we'll, go, so we'll get, get into it. We'll get into so it. So that they can pass yeah. We're going to get into that. But before we do, speaking of courts, October 13, 2020, uh, today was a supreme injustice. It was, uh, yeah. Had, it, was, it, was, it was not good. We had, and, we but, had uh, ACB. Kamala, Kamala brought a little heat, but other than that, Kamala, it wasn't good. And, and, so what we're talking about. And, and Amy heat. Klobuchar. Hey. Klobuchar brought some heat. So in, in, the, in, in the heat we're talking about, the kitchen was this Senate hearing, confirmation hearing, 
for uh, ACB, Amy Coney Barrett, uh, the new uh, nominee. She's she, fuck it, fuck calling her a nominee at this point. She's she's your newest Supreme Court justice, America. Right. She's All they're going to slam dunk her through. This, yeah, they're going to slam dunk her through. So our new our, our our newest Supreme Court justice, Amy Amy Col Coney Barrett, is they're going through the parade of the confirmation. Um, there's nothing Democrats can do. Nothing. Uh, Republicans are gonna are gonna slam like you said slam dunk this just ramshaft this right, right. up America's can hole and uh, today we just saw a bunch of like questions that she couldn't answer from Democrats or wouldn't answer uh, versus a bunch of praise and and you know kind of lobs soft lobs from Republicans you know. So, Damien, what's up? Samos, I see you, God. Uh, you know, so, the, it, you know, today, I, 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 honestly, I honestly, I only got through about a quarter of it. Uh, I saw Klobuchar live. I saw clips of uh, Harris. Um, I saw you, know, it. you watch this back and forth between Democrats and Republicans, uh, you know, uh, alternating uh, their, their either quest questioning or really just set up for kind of praise of, of this uh, bullshit new justice. But it, it, that, that shit gets tiring, man. It's like, all right, bro, like, just, just all right, just give her the robe and put her in the thing, and then we'll just deal. We got to deal with the shit, whatever. But this is it. It's already done. Like, she's, Well, she's, you know what, though? I, it's already done, but I think that they got to do that. They got to put shit out there. They got to put it um, – Oh, they got to put it out there so the American public can see how fucked up it is. But I mean, she 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 didn't answer shit. She you could tell she's like, man, as soon as I get a chance, I'm turning over abortion as soon as possible. You can see that her mouth was dribbling on the side. And Amy Klobuchar is the only one that kind of went to the, went in her grill a little bit and did uh, Kamala Kamala got a little bit of heat on her and said basically. But other than that, the Democrats is throwing softballs too, bunch of bitches. I, 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 I like. I liked what uh, Amy and, and you know these these are, these are two Amys going at each other. By the way, Amy Klobuchar right. versus Amy. I should have said something about that in the title, <laughs> like Amy versus Amy. Last Amy standing. But the, but, but Amy the Amy Klobuchar she was more like I'm Amy and I was Amy first, bitch. And she's she has some, a little at, Amy. At, at one point, Amy. Amy Klobuchar did say she wished she could be queen and make all the decisions so that they could get stuff done uh, in the Senate. And I was like, ah, uh, that's not the thing to say out loud. That's, yeah, you don't that's want. That's supposed to be in. That's head talk. That's, <laughs> that's not, a little crazy. A that's not AJ Fifth three six five stuff. in the building. Yep. Yeah. Usually, Stacy, we see you too. Um, but and El Noob said Cory Booker wasn't that bad. I missed him. Um, I, like he was said, okay, I, but he still there was the, the main shit they should have asked was about the Affordable Care Act, and they should have also worked. they that mean like I mean really stuck her stuck her in the it face that, with it. It was that Roe that and Roe v Wade the Democrats were trying to stick her with, uh, based on past things she said, and and you know the way the, I guess uh, you know the the best thing about Amy Klobuchar's uh, you know thirty minutes with her was that. She kind of set up this thing like, okay, I get you're not going to answer these questions, but if you don't answer these questions, then I'm just left to look at. She she gave this analogy of this story of when she was growing up, going to a family friend's cabin in the woods, and they yeah, would follow they would, they would follow different tracks of of like animal prints. Like, oh, is that a deer? Is that a rabbit? Is that a bear? And they were, and she was like, we would follow the tracks, and I was like, this is the whitest shit I've ever heard. You see yeah. bear tracks, oh, and you're like. Let's white. see where he went. Bits go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever the bear, bear goes, tracks, don't nigga. go where the bear nigga, goes. Even the bear, bear said, "Bitch, you really gonna follow me? Really? Is that what we doing?" The did bear was by like, the way, <laughs> "Did you see the video of the person getting stalked by the mountain lion because they came around yeah. the corner and, it, and then it was like, hey, back up.'" So that's what I'm saying on these trails and shit. Come on, you get out of here, mountain lion. <laughs> stupid, nigga. You the one on the mountain. Uh, but she 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 talked about following the tracks. And and um and and she used that as an analogy for Amy Coney Barrett has left this footprint of conservatism, right? Of of, of conservative judgment of yeah, she's cases the she wrote about or judgments of like things that like Justice Roberts, for instance, with Obamacare, and like we're all recognizing that Obamacare, women's vagina, all these things are about to shut down. 
because of uh, ACB. Um, so, so is the assumption. Uh, but Klobuchar left this argument of like, we're going to, I'm just going to, I'm left with these footprints and, and I have to follow those. And that, that's. Oh, no. Yeah, there was so much. I like the way so much bullshit. That. Yeah, but there wasn't enough straightforward. We, we, like, bitch, we read the shit you wrote. What are you talking about? You wrote it. We wouldn't even be talking to you about Roe versus Wade. We wouldn't be talking to you about Affordable Care Act if you wouldn't have written any of that shit and went and did speeches at fucking colleges against the shit because of the brutalization, as you say, of an abortion rights. So you want motherfuckers to just have babies, but then you want to be a separate, you know, a separatist and not these, having these babies taken care of. Just because you adopted a couple black kids, it don't make you, you know, you probably got those black kids treating them like slaves, like, get in the basement, you motherfuckers. I, I just, I bet you they're cleaning up after the other kids, which is fucked up. The two African, what, did she get them from Africa? I don't know Haiti. why, that just Haiti. irritates me. Haiti. Haiti? She got them from okay, they got, she hey, got two Haitians. Yes. Say, pase. Where about, where Stop by yeah, she's just bullshit. It was bullshit. I, I, I think that the Democrats need to just, it shouldn't even be no, you know, little analogies, little fucking bullshit ass stories. It should be like, you know, you fuck it up. You know, you know, you fucking up. You know, you did it. And so stop it. That's what it should be. You stop it. We know why you, oh, but she did say this is, we already know the timing and the awkwardness of what you're doing right now. Absolutely. You know, um, and you know, she, she, uh, ACB, Amy Coney Barrett, she operated in that space of she can't, she can't offer any hints or speculations about how she would judge a case in the future, right? So, um, so there, there was just this stalemate of Democrats basically asking about that and her being like, I can't answer that. Um, and then Republicans being like, Aren't you fantastic? And her being like, well, I hope people think I am. <laughs> so it was like, it was just, you know, a lot of ass tickling. Yeah, you it know, was, just, but just the Democrats, of, are, you know what, because the Democrats are, are pussies. No, you know, honestly, yeah, it, I, I think, I think they came, like, they came at her. She just, yeah, she yeah, just but like, they still a little her. bit, but they're, they're kind of pussies. I mean, you know, I, they can't throw water bottles at her head. I'm sure it's. In but they heart. they could they could throw water bottles at her not, head. Not, you're not supposed to do that. Um, empty ones maybe, but full. That's just you know that's that's getting vicious. There is some decorum shame in the in the in the center. I mean, Jesus <laughs> and Christ. And said, Focus. <laughs> "No, my brother and, and his wife came over. And I they came late, and it's because I thought they'd be here earlier. So that's Negroes it. It's walking cool. behind you. I see you. Yeah, no. it's just it's my brother, my brother and my son, right. and you know." So if you're, if you're wondering then how we get to a place where we're even looking at a Amy Coney Barrett who, you know, by, by all footprints and the tracks in the snow, as, as uh, Amy Klobuchar would put it. But um, yeah, the tracks in the snow, you got to yeah. admit, you like that? Did you like that? I did. I did. I thought, I thought <laughs> there, there were some extremely white moments. First of all, ca Cabin in the Woods. Hey, let's follow wild animal tracks and see where they go. Okay. These are not urban concepts that I grew up with. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not familiar with that idea. So, so, but Pedro, so you're telling me that, you've seen that, some bear tracks. You wouldn't follow them? I wouldn't be able to identify them. I'd be like, this nigga's foot is fucked up. I'm not going where he's going. Like, I would right. just think it was some nigga with bunions or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what bear tracks look like, for real. So, um, but to A, be able to identify them and say... Let's see where he went. You know, right. you on some you on some Goldilocks and, and you know in the in the three bears shit. Uh and you're gonna wake up and there's gonna be three bears just standing over your ass. Right. Yeah, that porridge. was I like that that was like um Supreme like, you Court. You're gonna make some uh, more porridge, bitch. You're gonna make some more porridge. You, you um, ever hear how they say with the um with the awards oh so white? That's what I kept thinking. This is Supreme Court uh, judge oh so like white. It, I like I like the tracks analogy because if she's not going to answer the question with ACB, then all we have to go by are these footprints in her past. Of, right, the shit that you did. Places but she the spoke, thing is, things she said, and if you're wondering if how we get here, you bounce into the next topic, right? Because it's tied in. If you wonder how we're even looking at an ACB, right, as a Supreme Court justice, as your next Supreme Court justice to fill, of all people, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's uh, seat, um, it's because of the obstruction, the total direct and, and uh, 
intentional uh, obstruction. Uh, uh, no, by, yeah, and he bragged Bits about McConnell, it. By Bits McConnell during the Obama administration, uh, during his last, uh, I believe, two years in office, but definitely his last full year in office, to block any and every judge appointment. So I believe there was something like 130 or 150 um, vacancies on the federal circuit when Obama left, strictly because the Senate wouldn't wouldn't hear them, wouldn't see them, wouldn't uh, confirm those. Um, and so understand that the seat, the federal court seat that Amy Conant Barrett sits on now, whatever, uh, I think it's the Seventh Circuit or Sixth, um, she, that was supposed to have been filled by an Obama appointee, um, right. a nominee, I believe a black woman, I can't remember her name right now. But, you know, bitch McConnell shat on that. Um, well, you are. You know, you know what? I got. I got to let everybody here on Savage AF that's listening. Everybody knows that they stole it. They jacked the fucking. They jacked the Supreme Court pick off of fucking um, Obama. That's it. And they jacked a lot of fucking a lot of judges' seats. And now they brag about it. McConnell calls himself the Grim Reaper because he liked the fact that he could block everything that Obama did. And you got to think about it. this: is the same man first day that Obama was in office said our number one priority is this to pre prevent this pre president from succeeding. So they're both, they're bitches. All of them got bitch like qualities. So especially bitch McConnell. Like, I just like, you know, man, don't seagulls eat, don't seagulls eat turtles. I want a bunch of seagulls <laughs> to cry down and, <laughs> and crack that shell and eat their ass and peck away just get fucking peck the, these bitches. But the, if the Democrats don't come hard to paint and don't get lackadaisical because they think, well, a Biden's ahead. Fuck that. Whoa. Number one, I was uh, I was doing Quake show. Shout out to Earthquake, very funny cat. And it, the the uh, the thing is, we can't let up off the fucking gas. And I see the Democrats always let up off the gas. They did that with Hillary, like, well, she got it in the bag. It's no problem. And the bitch didn't go to Pennsylvania, which nah. is a, a swing state. So we can't do that. We can't do that pertaining well, to these judges. Here, it's the slam I, dunk, but we got to still bring it out on the press. So here, here's what I see, because, you know, there's this, this talk of Joe Biden wants to pack the courts, wants to pack the courts. But understand that they, the GOP, especially Trumpy Dumpty, always says what it, he, he, he's always accusing somebody else of what he's actually doing. Right. right. So, he, he projects. He projects. So, so Bitch McConnell has actually been packing the courts. And, that, and that's what the obstruction of the uh, Obama administration was all about. So um, my problem with the Democratic Party, and, and this kind of dawned on me uh, last night and I was thinking about it today, is like, it's, it's, they're, they're so reactionary, right? Like when Harry Reid um, got rid of the filibuster, it was because the, the Republicans were using it, you know, not in good faith, right? They were just using it to obstruct for no they reason. They scared little bitches. No, no I, I get that, but... But that that's playing hardball, you know what I mean? Like that's that's taking advantage of a thing, but that that and you know, cheating or whatever, like I said, cheating is the easiest way to win. But but then the, the Democrats scramble and they react and so then they get rid of the filibuster and then don't realize that oh, if if the power gets flipped, now we're fucked and we don't have any means to stop them, which is where they are now. So all of this reactionary behavior just leaves you in a constant scramble state. And they're never on the offensive. Like, it, it's like that. That's why the GOP is like it is Cobra from GI Joe. Like, they right. are Cobra. Like, they are always ahead. Like, as soon as you think, "Ha ha, we found their base," then the whole mountain starts shaking and it opens up. And then the shit and split open. A, and then they but, got a spaceship. And you're like, these niggas had a spaceship <laughs> under the base. Y'all didn't, didn't tell didn't me these motherfuckers about? had spaceships. Look, yeah, got, yeah, but you know what? Pistol. I came with a pistol and some ninja skills. And these niggas got a spaceship under the base. They got a moon base. But they you know what? I think that they said Biden is on the offense. He's, he is out there. He's saying more shit. And by the way, everybody hates underscore Cole Silly. Are we going Bill Maher? No, we're not going Bill Maher. We're Savage AF. So uh, everybody hates Cole Silly. I got to say something. Okay. I've been telling you this, man. I left two pair of shoes under your mother's fucking uh, bed. I need you to mail those back to me. Okay. So aside from that, Cole Silly, you started it, nigga. 
Um, so there is house shoes. Yeah. He's, he's, he needs those. Sticks. Yeah, I, I need. Yeah, one of them was slippers. One of them were hard shoes. So I need both of them. All right. Um, yeah, Des Destro's baby cousin is in the. They run in the GOP. Destro, them twin niggas. It was a Xantar yeah. and Xantax or some shit. They run in them. Uh, but, but, but they could still. Like right now, they said that he's gone ahead in Texas. I don't know, man. That's hard for Democrats to win Texas. Texas is a. I've been to Texas and thought, why don't a missile hit this bitch and clear out some of these motherfuckers? They're yeah. horrible. But Mitch McConnell, bitch McConnell likes that he likes to I mean, tote he, around that he did I'm, this. I'm gonna say this: bitch McConnell is a is is a thug, dog. Like he don't give a fuck about nothing except yep. power, and he will do anything to maintain that power. He is in that position. He has packed the court. They are packing the. They have always been packing the court. So, it's th that's just that's where we are with this, y'all. Like they they are playing hardball, and the Democratic Party does not. And the and the one Republican that's black, the Democratic Republican. I don't even know his name no more because I just I try to get as many coons out of my fucking mind, but uh, he just keeps going along with all this bullshit. He'll say, I guess. If the president says something racist and he didn't take it back, I guess it might be racist. No, motherfucker, it is racist. And I think that sometimes you got to call out bitch McConnell and have uh, be aggressive about it. Say, this man is an obstructionist. The reason that you're sitting there, um, Amy, okay? Listen, Amy. I would say it like that all the time just to air it. Listen, Amy. The only reason you're sitting there is because Merrick Garland didn't get a chance because you let Obama fucking... You you dicked over Obama, so fuck you and well, fuck actually, Mitch McConnell. No, actually, that's the reason that Kavanaugh is sitting there. Right. The the only reason that Amy Coney Barrett is able to sit there is because they the blocked, notorious one. No, no, no. Because they blocked a federal uh, appointment from Obama. Right. So the seat that. Amy Coney Barrett sits in on the federal circuit, should have been filled by Obama, was nominated, but was obstructed by Mitch McConnell. So I just want everybody to understand that. Like, like Kavanaugh is there because they obstructed Merrick Garland, but Amy Coney Barrett is Amy. there because they, they obstructed a, a federal appointee on the, on the, uh, on the federal circuit. So, okay, so, so you don't think but, we could just have somebody like a, like a, a lesbian lady just run hands on this girl? Like, can't we just have her beat up? Is that, is that know, fucked honestly, up? Honestly, I feel, I feel like she's one of those um, <laughs> secret militia, Tybo, uh, Krav Maga chicks too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I feel like she bakes an apple pie, but then also has like a knife in it, like Beatrice from uh, Kill Bill or whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying she's. Like, I still hey. think no. I think we should still get her beat up. I think that I know that's fucked up to say, but and then people are like, why would you go that direction? I think she needs. We need to get her jumped. If she Usually, gets jumped once, I think she might not be this how, Supreme Court. This how savage our audience is. Usually, Stacy says, "I know a girl." Okay, <laughs> well, go ahead, Stacy. <laughs> DM us. DM Shane with any. Slap assassins that you might know who are in the slap box yeah. and, uh, public officials. Because uh, we, we, they're already going to push her. They're going to push her through anyway. Um, they're going to push her through anyway. So she should get these hands. She should get hands run on her. That's what I'm saying. It's fucked up and weird. Uh, hold on. I just want to do this. Hey, brother. Hey. That's brother. that's my brother. My brother. L. That's Pedro. This is my brother. What's up, Pedro? This is, my, this is my is little big up? brother. My little big brother. Uh, all right, you too close COVID. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. be coughing around me, nigga. Don't sniffle around me at all. If you if you sneeze one more time, I'm stabbing you. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're busting out. He brought me a bong for my birthday. He oh, brought man. me a bong and some of the most killer That's weed in, in the world. That's love. It's yeah, it's weed that makes you it makes you see Jesus playing you see handball. <laughs> This is love that I'm feeling. It's good shit, bro. All right, man. Um, we are Savage AF. Make sure you guys are always following at Comedian Shang and myself. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. And also, you, you see that you see the thing I pent down there. So don't act like you don't know. And it's free, so don't give me that shit. I need y'all to subscribe to the podcast, um, which is uh, on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. But 
I need you to check out the YouTube channel. That's right, the YouTube channel. I need y'all to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm looking at it right now. I need y'all to go there and subscribe. It's free. Put in YouTube, Savage AF Podcast. So two things I need. We need the podcast version of it. We need the YouTube version of it. And I need you to follow Black Pedro because if you don't, there's going to be problems. There's going to be ramifications and repercussions for fucking with my cornbread. Do you understand me? I think you understand. Is, is, is Publicity Mag even here today? Why are y'all going off on Publicity? <laughs> People are like, they're, they're, they're talking about shit about trolls that ain't even here. I love it. Y'all pre-trolling. <laughs> right, but uh, everybody hates about. everybody hates cold sillies on here. And, yeah, you know, and, he and might say, what's up, Scott? is going in on cold silly. Yeah. The sad rep is going in on cold silly. That this is, hey, I, we try and tell y'all, man, just, just watch your mouth when you're in here. Say what you want to, but it ain't yeah, free. Yeah, but y'all, y'all might fight with each other. Little. Might cost you a lot. Rest in peace, Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan died? The actor? Did he? Is that J-R-A-M-Y-C? I haven't heard that. Oh, man. Great actor, man. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that. Wow. Mm. But, well, I mean, okay, I know that my brother threw me off a little bit, but it's cool because that's my man, you know. It's all good. Joe, Joe Morgan is a baseball player, isn't he? No, the, um, the actor, man, the black dude that's been, like, in everything. He was in Terminator 2. And when Lim- when Linda Hamilton went to go kill him and his family, oh yeah, he yeah, invented and he's been he's been in everything. Uh, Damn, I didn't know that. Well, I mean, or oh, somebody said the uh, baseball player, man. Oh, so, okay, so the, it's the ba- it, uh, it is a baseball player. Oh, it, yeah, it, it is the baseball player. Okay. Oh, Joe Morton is the actor. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, guys. You know, shit happens. So hey, no, hey, it, uh, no, hey. I, I got to I got to admit, like you said, that you like what what is being done. Sometimes when the, the Democrats come with it a little bit, I think we, we give them props when we shouldn't give them props. They should come with it even more. They got to be more aggressive. It's coming down to the wire. How many more weeks we have left on the, you know, to vote? They're already cheating. They're finding fucking mailboxes missing. Motherfuckers is putting down fake mailboxes. It's just like they're desperate. It's another situation where white people or the European Americans that are pigmently challenged um, and are basically knowing that their power is slipping away or to a point. But I still think it's going to be, Pedro's right, it's going to be a fucking civil war. And then Pedro's I, I, right I, I to be armed. I ain't say, I ain't say, I ain't say none of them there was going to no, be. No, I'm saying you're right to be armed because yeah. I think it's going to be a civil war. I think that if he loses, if Trump loses, they're going to lose their fucking mind. They're going to go crazy. And, they, and, and if he wins, they're going to be like, hey, suck our dick, niggers. And you think they ain't? They're going to be like, suck our dicks. We do what we want to do. And if they yeah. lose, they're like, hey, he didn't lose. It's fake news, goddammit. And they're going to run around coughing on motherfuckers getting knocked out. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be a yeah. lot of unconscious Caucasians on the ground. It's going to be a lot of well, concussed Caucasians on the ground. Yeah, well, I said since, concussed since Caucasians. We're, since, we're on the, uh, since we're on that subject of concussed Caucasians, um, the word militia is being thrown around a lot, especially around this group of uh, concussed Caucasians, uh, you know, honky monkeys, whatever you want to call it, European Americans, who uh, plotted to kidnap. And it's coming out that they also have plans for uh, RVA Gourmet. They have plans for your governor too, Northam Ralph Northam, yeah. uh, to to uh, kidnap him as well. Uh, they were going to leave Gretchen Whitmer uh, maybe in the middle of Lake Michigan. For those who don't uh, understand that. Uh, it's a big ass lake that carries ocean going ships that you can't see from side to side. You know, it's not like a lake lake. It's, it's not, not like a lake. Cri- lake. It's not it like looks Crystal like the lake ocean G- from Friday the Thirteenth. No, it's like no, it, it, it like you could be in a part of it and nobody would ever find you, and you would just die the fuck out there. So, and that's only the second biggest of the Great Lakes. So, uh, they they have plans to do that, but they keep throwing around this word militia. So, I, you know, sometimes with words. I like to look at like the technical definition because I know we use things, uh, you know, kind of colloquially and and loosely and metaphorically sometimes. But uh, let, let's just look at the word militia. What does it mean? I'm, I'm gonna give you three definitions here. Before you say that, hey, cold silly. Uh, I, there's no white people in my family. I know I'm high yellow, and my, my my father ain't, my mom ain't. So, but again, man, I think that you keep missing my point. There's I white really people in my family. Well, I, yeah, I don't have any white people in my family, but I do have this. I left my shaving kit at your mother's house, and I need my shaving kit, my 
my shoes. I think there's a toothbrush there. So, I, I yeah, she let me use a toothbrush that she had. So I, I left it there. So I need that. So make sure your mother sends me my shoes, my shaving kit, and the toothbrush. All right. Uh, tell, yeah, let them it. know. That's how we need. All right. So, militia. <clears throat> it's a noun. <laughs> A military force that is raised from the civil population to supplement supplement a regular army in an emergency. Okay. Definition number two, a military force that engages in rebel or terrorist activities in opposition to a regular army. Definition number three, all able-bodied civilians eligible by law by law for military service so you're either helping out a the terrorist regular, you're no hold on you're either helping out the regular army in an emergency uh bucking against the regular army some regular army for a reason or uh just a civilian eligible by law for military service. The, the, these are these three, and I'm giving the German three, like, Damn, But the reality is, none of those definitions are fulfilled by these 13 cracker jackals who were trying to kidnap governors. They weren't about to kidnap face they weren't about Kidnap to face an kill. army. They weren't helping. They weren't helping the army. They weren't about to face one, and they weren't eligible by law for military service in this situation. So, we we need to stop calling them militias, right? Because something like the NFAC and uh, potentially other groups are, and that's the not fucking around coalition are are truer militias, right? Like they're here to supplement. Uh, they are here and to defend against. It's um, to support. But they're not plotting to kidnap. Right. Kidnapping and murdering and race wars. Or, because or Molotov, all of the footage. Molotov cocktail right. police, right? That, like, that's not their mission to go yeah, out and attack. Yeah, but you know what, uh, Pedro? I saw some footage on these motherfuckers, man, the ones that they didn't catch. And they're out there saying race war, race war, and shooting their guns and practicing and doing all these different things. Uh, it's just that, uh, honestly, the Caucasian media is not saying they're terrorists. They should be flat out be yeah, exactly. They should be called terrorists, period. They call us th thugs and goons and all kind of shit over dumb shit when these people are actually doing the, one, the most damage. When they call, they say, especially, this is a kill me with Hispanics. It's like, yo, I understand that you're leaning more towards Republican values. I get it. But this is a president that doesn't like you, called you rapist. I mean, called you rapist. And in actuality, the most rapes being done is actually by Caucasian people. Period. <sighs> yeah, yeah. And speaking of, uh, speaking of rapings, Miss Averb seems to be doing a number on Cold Silly. I've uh, been watching in the background here. Uh, Co uh, Ms. Adverb says to Cold City, go file a claim for the missing penis and hybrid clit they gave you. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that's well, Cold Silly, you already knew what it was. When it, that's literally you know what it was. kicking the balls. Or, <laughs> you know, that's going after the genitals. Like, um, Miss Adverb is our sergeant at arms on this show. So if you ever find yourself entangled with Miss Averb here on Savage AF on IG Live, uh, don't like yeah. back up. And it seems like Surrender. Eve jumps in. Like Miss Averb will push him down, and then Eve jumps in and starts suck sucker punching him. <laughs> yeah. like, stay down, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all are y'all are rude, and and I like that about y'all. No, y'all are, are cold I, cold biscuits out there. So That's the definitions I want to ask you: the definitions obviously don't fit All anything. Right. You, you don't All think right. nobody in the Democratic Party or some responsible motherfucking Republicans could have looked this shit up? They couldn't have looked this shit up. They said, so, "Wait a minute, these motherfuckers are not." What they say they are. The Proud Boys, what are they proud of? Other than the fact that gay, the gay men have taken their shit over. So what are they proud of? What, okay. proud of being so, racist so, cunts? So now, because let's, 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 be, let's be balanced with this, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm asking y'all, what is the difference between a militia 
and a terrorist, right? Or terrorism. Um, terrorist. Like militia, it's also a noun. A person who uses, and I, I, I just want to go back to the beginning again. A person, right? Lone wolf. One person. The, the way they always kind of describe these guys. Lone wolf or, McQuaid. It's, it's these isolated yeah. things, right? So a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, right? In the pursuit of political aims. Uh, as an adjective, unlawfully using violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in this pursuit of political aims. S same damn thing. Uh, Just the same so thing. Whether you're doing terrorist acts or you're a terrorist, right? Noun, adjective, doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter. You are unlawful in your violence and intimidation against other civilians for your political gain. That sounds a lot more like 13 dudes who are plotting to kidnap Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan, and Ralph Northam, the governor of Virginia, right. than it does a militia that is looking to supplement uh, a, an army in, a, in an emergency. Right? They're, they're not supplementing an army in an emergency. Right. Well, we, yeah, they're, they're intimidating they're, they're... civilians. Because governors are right. still civilians, right? They're not army... They're not. They're not military. Well, they, they might they're be ex-military, -military, but they're not military, right? They're yeah. all terrorists, and everybody knows they're terrorists. The bottom line is, the media should call them terrorists every single time they mention their name, or any time they mention the Proud right. Boys. It should be the terrorist Proud Boys, oh, yeah. and anybody that backs these motherfuckers, which is Trump, the the impeached orange citrus fuckstick terrorist, because he is right now doing a super proud spreader tour. The, pr the yeah. proud terrorist, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, doing a super spreader tour. So, he's trying to get everybody COVID it up. JRA NYC brings up an important thing. I think terrorist is one. Militia is more than one terrorist. All right. So I, I like that play on words. And 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 terrorism was part of the second definition <laughs> of a militia that I read, right? Someone who engages in, you know, terrorist acts against right. a re against a regular army, right? So Understand that, and I was thinking about this the other day, Nelson Mandela was a terrorist against apartheid South Africa, right? So terrorist is about perspective to a certain degree, okay? To a certain degree, yeah, but to these certain, guys are flat you know, out. You know, like the, the, you know, the founding fathers of this country, George Washington was a terrorist against the crown of England. Absolutely. So, um, malicious, according to the definition we read here on the show tonight, malicious can be terrorists, but against what? Against what would be your ultimate thing? So, the terrorists that plotted against uh, Governor Whitmer and, and Governor Northam, um, they are not militia, right? Because they weren't righteous no. in their terrorism, right? They were seeking to intimidate and influence politically, but they are not militia, right? So militia isn't necessarily more than one terrorist, right? Right, or, yeah, or, yeah. Or, but... or, or, or it, it, I, I just want to clarify that there isn't an inherent uh, negativity to terrorism, depending on... The cause that you're being. Well, yeah, I mean, like you for. said, Nelson Mandela was considered a terrorist, even though he was just standing up for his people, and there was a righteousness behind it. Whereas in these guys, it's just uh, uh, she's not giving me my freedom, and she probably likes black guys, so fuck this, her. And this country, know, so. this country was founded by terrorists. The the Period. Boston Tea the Boston Tea Party was an act of terrorism against the British Crown. Right, it was insurrection. Right, it was infidelity. Right, it was it was a move against the the, the ruling body of right. the American colonies at that time. Right. So George Washington was a terrorist. To to yeah, to, to the British, absolutely. But I I think that and these guys the, that's it, yeah. 
So, yeah, but these so, guys are just, I think they're just so, racist but, but, but fucking whack was, jobs that want to do crazy shit. Right, right. So he was a terrorist to, to the British, like you said. But in reality, they formed a militia, which, is, which was something to engage in terrorist acts against a regular army, right? So they faced the British army, okay? They weren't... Right at polls trying to shoot people in the head. Uh, yeah, they, but you know what? But like I think that their their whole their whole thing is intimidation. Just like they want to send people to the fucking polls and intimidate people, armed people to the polls and make sure they're watching out for things. They're a bunch of bitches and they can't really just stand up and just live their life and it's all insecurity and fear. Fuck them. And it's so funny to me that people still Say, well, you know what? I mean, this is just in case government want to take all your rats away. And somebody said that it was most deaf well, on Bill Maher. He said, let me tell you something, man. For real, if they want to come get you, if the, if the government really want to come get you, nigga, they going to get you. And that's exactly what it is. Military, militias, or whatever. If the, mili if go if the American government really wanted to get you, it's a wrap. You did. By so, the way, guys. Um, speaking of a rap, I think Miss Miss Adverb has bodied cold silly for the night. Uh, and that being said, I, I really do believe that between publicity mag and uh, three minus three or whatever that nigga's name right, was, and also the people and, yelling and, out and, from twenty twenty and cold silly, I, I I really think these are the same hybrid bot. So cold silly, I'm I'm officially giving you the Batiana label. If I had a digital stand, like, Batiana. No, I know, I know who Cole Steely is. He's a aspiring uh, comic, I guess, or a co aspiring. He's you know, aspiring something, but he wait, wait, did you say? To did you say aspi did you say as aspiring, inspiring, or expiring? No, uh, he this. was expired. <laughs> he oh, got expired. expired. He got expired tonight. Okay. Yeah, That's he got it. expired. Yeah, I mean, there he is. And then it, it sent, it, I sent the bad signal out. Okay, man, because that's what happens, man, when you come on Savage AF, brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Slack, or Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. And make sure, I know I said this shit fast, but all the, that, all the pod podcast platforms. And make sure you go to Savage AF Podcast on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel, our new YouTube channel. It's only a week old, but we need more people, and we're getting a good Let's amount, go. but we need more people. So go there and subscribe. Now, trying, I wanted to ask you something. We're trying to get to 53 million, y'all. 53 million. 53 million. I think that's what the number said. But honestly, man, <laughs> the thing is, what you said is all the definitions. I don't even think they know the definition of what the fuck they're doing. I don't even think that these six, it was six, it was six guys they caught, and then the other, it's 13 total. So but I don't think they even six, know what they're fucking doing. Charged. Six are being six, charged right? federally. Federally right. being charged, yeah. And which is yeah. it's crazy we got down to the point charges. where they're Yeah, where they're trying to kidnap motherfuckers because of their little insecurity. <laughs> Wear the fucking mask. It's not that deep. Nobody's trying to take your rights away from you, you cunts. And so all the people that support those people on here, because I see some of them jumping on. Somebody just typed in Trump 2020. Some dude hit me up on one of my posts saying Trump 2020, motherfucker. And I'm like, okay, well, yeah, man. Like, I, you know, I'm going to see you eventually because your picture is posted and you live in L.A. So eventually we might see each other. Just, just know that. Yeah. I ain't that type a, la of a laying of the hands may occur. Yes. Um. All right, guys. So, Savage AF. Uh, listen, this is this so shit, bad. The next, this, the next, this, this, it, it's it, so bad. It, it, it makes no senses, man. It makes no senses. It <laughs> is so bad. So, so we know that uh, Trumpy Dumpty have been trying to uh, cut off the senses as early as possible, and some people might be like, "Well, I don't give a fuck, and I don't feel that shit out anyway." Well, you know, the senses is one of the things they use to figure out. Who's who and who's where and who and needs who gets what. funding and who gets funding? Who needs? How many people are in your schools? How many people are in your town? How many people are in your city, your state, so that we can know where funds need right. to go to? What 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 kind of people are there? Right. Are they special needs people there? Are they minorities who might need certain programs and funding? Um, 
you know, and you can have your comp- conspiracy theories about, well, I don't want them tracking me. It's like, nigga, you already on the list. Like we said. Yeah, they got like, you. You've been on a cell right, phone. You right. called somebody. They you got, got you. Got, you, got a, you got a driver's license. You got a fucking social security number. Bro, you're they on got the you. list. You're on right. The they got list. you. That's like, it. Stop playing. Stop playing. You're on the list, dog. Like, stop playing. Um, so that's why I have no qualms about legal guns, gun ownership. They're like, but then they can track it. I'm like, that's fine, dog. Like, they could track everything I do, anyways, my nigga. Like, they could follow my car around this goddamn planet. Right, it, was, right. You know if saying? they so, can see you from, they can see you from a satellite and 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 scan in. I'm pretty they sure they know what the yeah they they can point, catch you. At this point, you'd have to have like a Model T that to, to not be tracked in your car by GPS. The most, you know what right. I mean? Like you. You need a Datsun 2000. Right. You'd have to have a car. You'd have to have a car you pedal. That's what you'd have to have for them not to find you. It's like, that's the only way. Like, that nigga with the car they pedal, they could never find him. And even then they can find you because you can't go but so fast in the car that pedals. But the fact that they're... they're, they're, (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) This makes no sense. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. No, no, go. Miss Avram says, and this is obviously in reference to Cold Silly tonight. That's hybrid clip. It comes with washer fluid so she can squirt. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on, Miss Avery. Where are you? And then Eve said he has a micro penis. Um, I, I, cold Silly, he just, you know, Cold Silly's penis always looks cold and silly. <laughs> always looks wow. cold and silly. Pandora's box, she got you. Pandora's box. Got you. Y'all, y'all, Singa. y'all, you know what? Y'all have a, y'all, y'all, y'all get that shit off your chest. Get that shit yeah, off your yeah. chest. Eve is like Eve, Eve. Apparently, Eve wants to fist fight this nigga. So, <laughs> like when I see you in the streets, and who is that? That's Eve underscore bitch. And then pal, uh, this is uh, gotten out of hand. I'm I'm a little frightened for you. Um, Wa- washer fluid, washer fluid squirting is like an image. It's gonna it's gonna take a while for me to get past that one. You but get that you. out of my head. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Just, uh, uh. Our our our, um, our sergeant in arms. She don't play. All right, she she follows part of the procedure. See, they saying we'll Black Pedro that we're instigating. Hold up, who said we are instigating? Only one mystical said we're instigating. We ain't instigating. The motherfucker started some shit, and the shit came back at him. That's the way the shit works. You start some shit, shit gets back to you. Boom, bam. Understand? That's what it is. So I don't want to hear that shit. Okay. But now there's one person census wise that you know <laughs> that I think we shouldn't. Even count them, which is cold silly. <laughs> which is, <laughs> you sound like an old black movie, cold silly. Yeah, it's just no, and, stop. And, it. and it's it's hard to take you seriously when your name is silly, like when you got silly in your silly. handle, cold yeah. silly. Like you know, I you know I grew up in Michigan. I'm not. I don't like the cold no more. I'm yeah. LA, you know, my skin is L.A. now. I'm sorry, my heart is Detroit. My skin is into L.A. Sorry, I don't do cold. I don't do like I act silly sometimes, but you can't be like, "Yo, I'm silly," and then be like, "But I want you to listen to everything I gotta say." Like, no, that that makes no sense. It making no sense. Okay. <laughs> it's like, "Yo, I'm." No, dummy. I'm gonna tell you, man. The, the, the fact you had this this is on the list today, it just shows you, man, how desperate these motherfuckers are. But it works because when you got the Supreme Court that's in your pocket, and when you got conservatives on the fucking Supreme Court. That's what they do, man. They're going to try to block the census, which will actually make it harder for some people to get counted. And actually, it fucks with the vote. Believe it or not, it fucks with the vote. And the fact they're doing it right now is just the same shit they're doing pertaining to the Supreme Court uh, push-through. That's what I like to call it, the Supreme Court push-through. So it's just, you know, it's more fuckery going on. And I just, when do we get tired of the fuckery, though? Anybody in here listening to this shit? You ain't tired of the fuckery? You don't think we should do what Egypt do, but a little bit more violently and go and just mob up on the fucking White House and get we're tired of this shit? You got an AG that's a, 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 a cheating cunt. You got a president that's rocked out on steroids and walking around going, I could do anything, brother. I mean, he wants to... <laughs> he's he's so fucking high me. up. Yeah, I don't need a mask, motherfucker. If you want to see me, come see me, brother. And he got little tiny hands and orange face. Somebody said that this motherfucker, but when he walked back up to the White House when he got off the uh, helicopter, he had he was orange again, but he wasn't orange before. So that means he had COVID and stopped and got his makeup done. He respray. He got to re. He had to respray. He had I to think, respray. This, this is point, the man that's in charge. 
I think Marine Marine One, the helicopter. I'm pretty sure it has them 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 tanning jets or the spray jets. And he when he gets in there, it, they just start spraying him like you know, like the uh, when you're in an airplane <laughs> and the little air the air vent thing. When it comes in, when you walk in, yeah. when it's but his his is yeah his is filled with uh, cinnamon Hitler dust. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, just this motherfucker, man. Hitler dust. It's going to um, be real interesting. I know some people that already voted um, were there at down in Houston and some other people. Um, I'm, it's going to be real interesting. Four-hour lines, five-hour lines. So I'm hoping that we can get through this shit without wait a minute, stabbing man. a motherfucker in the head with a, a, a spoon. I just saw a new word on here that I've never seen before. What was P the word? Penussy. And I'm trying to figure out its or origins here. It's, but, uh, a penussy is a penis and pussy. Yeah. Uh, if you have a penis that looks like a pussy, it's the penussy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've heard that word. I've heard penussy. Uh, yeah. You say, what the fuck is penussy? I just told you what the definition is. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. see, they, right, wow. And now he, he going after you. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. But I mean, I, we appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate you, uh, Cold Silly, for being there on Savage AF. And, uh, you know, hopefully your vote. Don't get counted. Eve, Eve, I don't Eve, if I know Eve said, you. okay, that's the queen of the show, Eve, put, put Penissi out there in the universe. So that's what we're doing now. Penissi. Any, y'all not, y'all not trolls anymore. Y'all are Penissis. Uh, I'm still going to use Batiana. I like that. It's, you know, yeah. it's, it's in my heart. So, uh, Cold Silly, you are officially a Penissi Batiana. Uh, you know, Penissi Batiana. That's, that's, we get those every now and then. They come through. Um, <laughs> and, and, that, and that's what Savage AF is and that's why we love our audience though because y'all are more savage than we are that's why y'all hang stab out you here and yeah exactly Uncle your job, stab is gonna stab your ass at, at, listen at all y'all jobs at the water cooler at the copy machine at, in the fucking lunch line in the cafeteria when we had those things at, at, in, in America and in the world you got rejected right you would say some shit I could imagine Miss Adver being at the water cooler and being like, did you see these fucking panussies last night? And half the office would be like, oh my God, she's aggressive. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but here at Savage AF. It's Savage AF, so it's we're, okay. We're the, we're the water cooler that nobody should ever walk up to. Because if you do, right. you get, you're going to be, be some shit. It. Yeah, you're going to miss the rest of your shift just talking about bullshit and cursing a lot. And call, calling people mucky knuckles and ass ducats and you know donkey biscuits, fucking well done sandwiches, right? That's that's what we're talking about, right? sloppy hojos. That that's that, this, 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 the, the, this, the, this is the wild part. They they go at each other, uh, and they go at us too. Because I've heard people jump on Trump twenty twenty. Fuck you guys. But I mean that's fine. This is what Dark. here at Savage, you, you guys say it like this here at Savage AF. Myself and Black Pedro. Are used to it, so thank we you. Should, Doug, we should do it. We should. Could you imagine a water cooler where it's Miss Adverb, RVA Gourmet, and like AJ Fit three sixty five, right? You know, and, some of our lawyer and then, followers. And Eve is the boss. Yeah, and and then Eve, and then yeah, and then Eve comes up like, "What's everybody talking about?" <laughs> right? Like that. It would. It would be. The most fucked up office situation ever. Right? <laughs> ever. <laughs> like, it would bring down. They all would be plotting. What, whatever corporation it was, it would, it would, it would just collapse. They all be talking time. like, "Yo, when we when we get off work, hey, yo, let's jump, let's jump, cold silly." <laughs> like, hey, yeah. but we're at work. I know, but we're on a break. All of us together, we're gonna have AJ Fit kick him in the stomach and throw him in the trunk, and then yeah. Eve, yeah, Eve will have somebody <laughs> squirt in here. Right. Look so, at and this. then only, only one mystical said and publicity mag. But here's the thing. Publicity mag would be the person would be the motherfucker delivering the water and they would just pop in all of a sudden and be like, Y'all niggas can't read and then just <laughs> boom, 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 drop the water thing, and then run off. Like, and then, the but then we chase that? them. We chase them and stab them in the like, What the fuck was that? It was a that was a really aggressive lady with a high top fade. I don't understand right. what just happened. You know what I mean? So um that that that's the water cooler that we've created for you guys here at Savage AF. Drink up, guys. It's the Savage AF. I know I say hydrate. <laughs> you should too. God um, damn, they just going in. All right, all right. So, um, speaking of the congregation, right, the church that we formed here, 
Chech. Uh, one thing that we know we, we, we've gone through in, in, in the workplace in America as, as black people, especially specifically black people, is the thing around hair. And, and my yeah. sisters out there, I know this is a, especially a thing for you guys, but we, we, you know, black men do go through it too, but but black hair. men don't go through it. I think black men don't go through it as much. No, no, no. Not as unless much. they have bread. It's, it's something we can all empathize with, though, I, I really do believe. We've all had our hair padded or been like, oh, that's interesting what you're doing. Are those, like, dreadlocks? or You know what I mean? Like, so, we, we, especially in recent times, we've had in schools and workplaces these um, conflicts over the presentation of our hair. I'm sorry, I don't mean the presentation. I mean the natural presentation of our hair, right? Right. When it's untouched. For afros. Right. Unpermed, right? Not straightened out to, to fit a European construct, but just allowed to b bloom naturally as it does. Right. Uh, there, there isn't a, an appreciation for that in uh, corporate America, in our school systems, uh, even in, in, in even in some of our uh, you know upper academic collegiate systems, um, dreadlocks, cornrows, uh, the the bantu knots, twists, uh, all of those things, just braids in general, are are looked at differently, right? As if um, you're somehow. So I just wanna I wanna read this from this article. Sorry, where, where's this article? It's from BazaarMagazine.com. Um, a 2020 Duke University study found that black women with natural hairstyles were perceived to be less professional, less competent, and were less likely to be recommended for job interviews than their white counterparts. Even among black women, those with natural hairstyles were rated as less professional and, uh, than black applicants with straightened hair. So not only compared to our white counterparts, like you said, but... But compared even, to other black women. Right. So a, a separate, you know, a divide and conquer among ourselves, right? Um, but obviously, the way you present your hair naturally, right? Because I've seen people wear their hair fucked up and I'm like, get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen people who can't figure well, out their different. hair. Yeah, there's a difference like, between fucked up yeah. and natural. And I think that we, yeah, yeah, there's people who come with their, if their shit's fucked up, their shit's fucked up. But at the end of the day, I think that, you know, it's been always been that way. But you know what? It's more our fault than it is their fault because we bought into their bullshit. And we, we buy into their bullshit and women do that. And no, not men as much. Not men as much. But women definitely buy into the bullshit that their hair has to be permed or straight. And I get it. I mean, I like women with hair that's permed and or they wear a weave and a straight hair. But end of the day, um, because you have a fro doesn't mean you're not as professional. But the fact that that's even the thought process is fucked up. That's fucked up. And I love yeah. sisters with froze. I love sisters with froze. I've always been, I've always liked those yeah. earthy ass women that smell like black love incense and wear toe rings mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and they have a tattoo of an onk somewhere on their ass. Yes. I mean, that type of shit. Woo, and they, they 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 grow their own sage. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. You come you in and they sage they sage you, you when you come to their apartment. And then after that, they go, "Would you like some? Uh, <laughs> would you yeah. like some plantain?" Oh, yeah. oh, you bad, you badass chick, you making so, me rub my own chest. <laughs> so our we we Shang live in the first state to uh, to ban this because there there was this discrimination against black women, especially for a natural hairstyle. Um, right. So in 2019, July of last year, our governor, Gavin Newsom, came up with the Crown Act. And it, it is uh, an acronym. It stands for Creating a Respectful and Open World for Natural Hair. Um, crown. Um, and it now ba bans discrimination based on hairstyle. So right. we've, seen, we've seen the stories about you know, it, 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 it's especially bothersome when, when they do it to the kids, right, in the school setting. Right, where the, the, wrestling, the, the wrestling the coach, right, right, the wrestling coach actually told him if he doesn't cut his dreads, even though he was a good wrestler, 
that he wouldn't be on the team. And then he went and cut his own dreads. And also, no, they were cutting his dreads and he was like, okay with it because he wanted to be a part of it so much. I seen that shit and I was like, fuck that. Fuck that. I would have, I'd have been like, yeah, why don't you kiss my ass with your wrestling bullshit? You know, man, how about I just go get my gun? I'm sorry. That's just, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a baseball team yeah. and only worry about the bat. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, you just go from zero to sixty. How about I like just grab the bats and come over there? You need a glove too. A fuck a glove. I don't need no glove. Just I just designated need this, hitter. It, designated hitter. Yeah, exactly. Nothing better than this hard wood and bats. So I can come over there and show you what the fuck's up. It's just I'm glad that they finally did it. And and, and Gavin Newsom is starting to show me a little something. I mean, he slip and fall sometimes, but the motherfucker has been trying his best to navigate not only through the fires and all the other shit, but end of the day, uh, it's about time. But but we still have a problem. Black women still have a problem mm -hmm. um, with other black women pertaining to their hair, pertaining to their dress. They got to stop hating on each other pretending to being natural because natural women look beautiful to me. I don't I don't know what the well, fuck. There, there's, I, think there's, I love there's it. Been a there's been a big movement uh, towards uh, natural, I think, um, among uh, black women. Um, you know, I think it's the greatest society that, that you know, really actually has the problem where uh, there's, there's been this constant um, barrage of th that, that certain image, you know, the, the cocaine skinny, heroin skinny, Barbie doll, sunken cheek, Breastless, assless. I, I can, I can, I can count more ribs. I love ribs. I don't want to see yours. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good St. Louis style. Uh, yeah, baby back. Sure, but motherfucking human ribs. I don't want to see. I'd like when I can see when your shoulder bone thing sticks out. Yeah, that looks. Look yeah, like, that scares me. I like, think that they, I think bad wings are going to come out of it. I'm like, okay, yeah, it scares the shit out of me. So, but but so end of the there, day, there, there's that thing. So. There, there, there's that whole image, and and, and it, so your body image is fucked up, according to the world, and 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 your hair isn't right, right? So, um, th th there is the dealing of that, ladies, and 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 black women are queens. We are here for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. And the crown, and the, and and I like the fact that the crown, and I like the acronym of the crown. But I just I like the fact that they said, you know what, enough of that bullshit. But that's only here in California. You got to do it all the way across the uh, across the board. Got to uh, be a motherfucking yeah. It's got to be everywhere because I know there's black women are like, I just want to wear my hair natural or natural curly or whatever, and I don't want to be seen as less fucking qualified. So suck a dick. All you motherfuckers that act like that, you know, that act like even women that act like with other women. If you want to wear your hair straight, ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't look at another woman because you wear natural and think she ain't as smart as you. Fuck out of here now! And in fact, you need you need broomstick if you think like that, ladies. Did I say broomstick? Uh -oh. I need it. it, it is, wow, that was a, I, even I went over the line for me. So that's savage. I take that back. I don't mean broomstick. You need your ass beat. Now that's fine. You can get your ass beat, but not broomstick. That was too much. I apologize. I, I was yes, out of line. Yes, yes. Um, Miss Averb, who who's a baby toucher? Who are you talking about now, girl? Talk, talk, well, now talk they're saying us. he's a pedophile, and they. Said they they went Ooh. from they went from zero to sixty. Who's um, a pedophile? Oh, um, I got lost. I guess, so yeah, I can't follow the whole thread, y'all. But oh, okay, ever, yo, man, I put baby toucher, and I don't know who. I, I yo, uh, I'm I, Lisa just te texted me. I I didn't even remember. Oh, so went, I went get on. Okay. Yeah, I was supposed so, to jump on there, but this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna let people know before I jump on there. I'll jump on there. Um, but the, before I jump on there, end of the day. Um, I want you to do me a favor. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. All my people on here, that make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Subscribe to the pod podcast, iTunes, Stitcher, Slack, or Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud. And also, check us out on YouTube, Savage AF Podcast. All right? Go on YouTube, put in Savage AF Podcast, subscribe. Um, all you women with froze, inbox us. Show me your froze. All you women with braids, Show us. We like that. And so I'm glad. Tell me that what you you're working with. Tell me what you're working with. <laughs> That's a song now. <laughs> that would be a song. And, hey. and I don't want to apologize for anybody that attacked any of the trolls that come on our show. Um, that's what you get, motherfucker. That's what you. Okay, yeah. Follow Black. Yes, thank you, T. Follow Black Page. Thank you, T. Oh, we see you. 
Yeah, follow Black Pedro. Done, done. Cool. Some people are doing that. Make sure you do that for me. Uh oh, we see some of the numbers going up. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. So make sure you follow million? it. Ninety three million. We didn't. We're at ninety three million. We're trying to get oh, to ninety four million. Thank y'all. So Don't make sure you know, we need more. We're trying to get that. We need more than that. Million. We need that. And Eve said it best. Fuck your feelings. That's uh, what's it? That's so how silly. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I see you subscribing. I'll jump on there with Lisa and see how this is. I promised her. I didn't know we was going to do that. Let, let him, we'll be let back know tomorrow. Where, do you know where they can follow you right now? Comics Uncensored, right? I don't on, even know. I don't even know. I think go. it's on YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube. Look up Comics Uncensored on YouTube. It's a great show. Uh, get in on it. And, and Shane's going to kill it. It's going to be a good old time. We'll be back tomorrow, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. I'll see right you then. Here. IG Live. Let's Peace.